What up, YouTube? Turner with God here again. No, I'm not real security. This is just a cool shirt I got from Amazon Prime. Um, it was a it's a cheap shirt. It's just cool looking. Um, so I want to point out to you guys proof that once saved, always saved. Once saved, always saved exists. Whatever people say, if they go against that, they are twisting the word of God because it's this right here, the Bible promise book. This right here is absolutely vital proof that OSAS is true. Once saved, always saved. I'm going to read salvation. All right. In reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth. Unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. How can a man be born when he is old? Nicodemus asked. Surely he cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb to be born. Jesus said, answered, I tell you the truth. Unless a man is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. John chapter 3, verse 3 uh, to 7. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Might. Might. That means it's up to us. We can uh, receive the sacrifice of Jesus, or we can deny it. That's, this is the only reason God gave us free will. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins. This is good and pleases God, our Savior, who wants all men to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Here's the good part. This part right here proves... This next part proves that once saved, always saved is, is true. My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have one who speaks to the Father in our defense. Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. He's our Jesus is our sacrifice, and when we stand before God as sinners, um, saved sinners, he will be our lawyer as well, our defendant to God the Father, um, the judge. You know, like, God the Father is going to be the judge, and Jesus will be the lawyer. This is a trust... Tr uh, wait, wait. When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your sinful nature... God made you alive with Christ. He forgave all of our sins. All of our sins. He forgave us all our sins, past, present, and future. This is a trust, trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. And for this we labor and strive, that we have put our hope in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, and especially of those who believe. 1 Timothy verse 9, or verse 4 yeah, first, first Timothy chapter four verse nine through ten. But the gift is not like the trespass. For if the many died by the trespass of the one man, how much more did God's grace and the gift that came by the grace of the one man Jesus Christ overflow to the many? Romans chapter five verse fifteen. All right, here's the part that ultimately proves once saved always saved. But when the kindness and love of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out generously on through Jesus Christ, our Savior. So, uh, I'll read one more for you guys that also proves once saved, always saved. Let's see if I can remember which one it was. That one was a salvation. 
Repentance. 131. I read this one too, so it's just... All right, here we go. This one right here in chapter Repentance actually proves it, too. The time has come, he said, the kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. Place your faith in Jesus for salvation. They went out and preached the people should, that people should repent. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Now, people actually think that repenting means just to, just to fight sin. And even after being saved, you have to keep turning away from sin and strive to do good. First of all, that's impossible. We can't repent from um, sin. We're always going to be sinners, even as a Christian. So what true repentance actually means is repent of your sins. Ask for forgiveness to God. Um, tell him that you want to turn away from sin and follow him. And then ask him for forgiveness for whatever sins you're sorry for. And receive his son's sacrifice as your personal Lord and Savior and then you will be saved. So that's what repentance truly means. Um, and then we're saved from past, present, and future sins. So listen to this. If you put away the sin that is in your hand and allow no evil to dwell in your tent, then you will lift up your face without shame. You will stand firm and without fear. All right, here we go. But if a wicked man turns away from all the sins he has committed, all this turns away from all the sins he has committed, uh, repent, and, uh, re repent them to God and ask God to save your soul from hell. So Romans 10, 9, um, receive him as your Lord and Savior. And keeps all my decrees and does what is just and right. He will surely live. He will not die. None of the offenses he has committed will be remembered against him. Because of the righteous things he has done, he will live. There we go. There you have it. Um, once saved, always saved. That's, that's right, that right there is evident proof that once we place our faith in Jesus Christ alone for salvation... There's nothing that can take us away from God's hand. Nothing can snatch us up from God's hand. Nothing. Not one, not, not sin, not anything. So right there is proof that once saved, always saved is true. None of our evil deeds are remembered. Once we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we stand before God as if we've never sinned. He sees us, his children, as perfect beings. Our souls are perfect because they are cleansed and washed as clean as snow. They're, our sins are as white as snow now. So our souls, for true Christians, are now wearing robes of garments. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Anybody out there who's fearing that once saved, always saved is false doctrine and is a lie from Satan himself, I've, I, uh, I just gave you a little proof that um, salvation, once we receive salvation, that um, nothing will be remembered that is bad. God won't remember. He takes our sins away from us, and he throws, he casts them to the east, to the west. He throws them to, into the sea of forgetfulness. So our sins are no longer remembered by God. He decided to put our sins out of his mind he decided to not remember our sins and we stand before god holy and sinless beings because we have the blood of jesus christ running through the pulse of our souls veins for all of eternity that is just a blessing right there it's just i was worrying about once saved always saved if it was true or not earlier so when i went to the bathroom to take a dump i had this right here in uh in as one of the books that's in the basket that I read sometimes when I'm doing my business and I decided to look up those chapters salvation and repentance and surely enough God gave me proof he took away my 
fears of it being fake and stuff. Especially when I was uh, watching videos earlier on YouTube with people saying that once saved, always saved is false and stuff. And it always gets me down. Whenever I watch videos of people actually debating that, it makes me start not knowing what to believe anymore. And that's exactly what the devil wants, is for us to get confused and to not know what to believe anymore. So that's when you have to stop watching people's videos. And instead, read the word of God straight from God himself. Because... That's proof. You'll always find everything in the Bible is true. It comes straight from God. So not and not every yeah, yeah like like a lot of people like me, myself included, we are preachers um, from God. Yeah, God uses us to preach. He really does use us to preach through uh, YouTube, like salvation and stuff and escape going to hell. But some people do it on their own. Some people do it on their own without even God doing it. God's not even guiding some people. So I hope you guys, so you guys watch out, be careful. Not everybody who's a preacher is being led by God. So there's, there's unsaved Christians out there who are priests and stuff. They're not being led by God because they're not saved. God's not using them. But he is with me. He is with a lot of other people. So when you look at, uh, when you watch stuff, or even read stuff online about once saved, always saved, if it's true or not. If it, gets, if it starts getting you down and getting you confused, go straight to the Word of God. Otherwise, you'll be confused and you'll be wrapped up in the devil's plan. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Talk to you later if you guys want this book. It's called New International Version, the, the Bible Promise Book. I don't know for sure if this is sold in the bookstores because... The date on this is 4-13-1991, so I honestly don't know. It was sold at Good Tidings Bookstore. Good Tidings Bookstore, Christian Books, Music, and Gifts. Olean, New York. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, there's a little serial code on the back of this too. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you guys spread the, all my videos to family, friends, and anybody you know that's unsaved. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I said it like five times. Sorry, it's like it's 4.28 in the morning, and I'm speaking randomness, so talk to you later.